Welcome back. I'm Pat That Halloween Movie Collector. Today we are going to do an unboxing and review of the new Halloween board game from Trick or Treat Studios. Halloween, a hidden movement game. So I've already taken it out of the box, taken the uh, plastic wrap off. So, so if you read the back of the box, it says, It's the night he came home. Play as Michael Myers or as Laurie Strode and her friends in this one versus many game. While Michael Myers stalks you through the streets, you must search the houses for Tommy and Lindsay to keep them safe. Or possibly for a weapon, anything really, just... Wait, what was that? Did you hear that at the window? Is it... No, run, just run. Sounds good, right? Sounds just like the first movie. Uh, contains one game board, one secret movement board, one dry erase marker, one Michael Myers mat, one Myers action card... One Myers figure, one Myers shadow token, ten Myers cards, five attack dice, two locked car tokens, twenty search tokens, eighteen damage tokens, twelve excerpt tokens, thirty-two item cards, four key item cards, three victim mats, six victim cards, and six victim figures. There's a lot of stuff in this. It's heavy. So I did order two of these because I'm a collector. So one's going to stay sealed, and one I opened up because I want to learn how to play it, and I want to play it. And actually, once I figure out how to play it, if you guys want, tune in this Tuesday night, which is Halloween night. And uh, we're, we're going to be watching on my buddies Brett and Joe and our beautiful guest Colorado. We're going to be watching the original Halloween and probably playing along the game. We're going to figure out a way to play it live. So let's see. So I have to learn how to play it. And there's a lot of shit in here. Holy crap, that's a lot. I mean, and, and the great graphics on the box. Shout out to them, to Tots. Some great graphics on the back. Loved, I love the, the front cover. Now, these were a pre-order, so I pre-ordered two of them. These were pre-orders for a couple of months. But when I was at um, H45 in Pasadena, the Halloween 45 Years of Terror convention, they had them there for purchase. But I knew I already pre-ordered two, so I wasn't about to buy another one. So some people did that didn't pre-order it. You had your chance to get it there. Plus, it would have been one more thing to try to stuff in my suitcase with all the other shit that I bought and I was trying to get back from California to northeastern Pennsylvania. But let's open it up. Let's see. So, I haven't, I, like I said, I just, before I started recording, I just took the shrink wrap off. So, I've, this is all new to me. All right. Let's see. Make some room here. So, wow, this is some real cool artwork, though. Look at that. Look at that rule book. I mean, where do you get a rule book that looks like that in, in a board game? That is real. That's some great packaging right there. So basically, game board it gives you game board setup, victim setup, Michael Myers setup, gameplay overview, gameplay in detail. Wow, this is this is this is going to be a lot to learn. Holy crap! Um, wow, tells you there's a lot to learn here. Michael Myers actions and death. What's death? All right, so let's read death because I'm curious what death is. <laughs> well, I know what death is, but let's see what it is in the game. After an attack from Michael Myers, if a victim now has a number of har uh, hearts, it looks like a heart or a broken heart, equal to or exceeding the health value heart printed on their victim card, that character is now dead. If this is the third time a character has died during a four-player game or the fourth time a character has died during two- to three-player game, the game ends immediately, and Michael Myers wins. Wow, there's a lot to read here. Holy crap! <laughs> it's it's not going to be. It's only playing Monopoly. Quick setup and winning, adjusting difficulty. That's cool. I like the little artwork of Sheriff Brackett there. That's awesome. All right, so I have a lot to learn. So, and these are, what is this? Direction stickers. Oh, all right. So you have to, have to put this stuff all together. So. On here you have, obviously you have Lori, you have Linda, you have Annie, you have Bob, you have Sheriff Brackett, and Dr. Samuel Loomis. Pretty cool. Probably pop up much better pictures after the fact, so you'll see them popping up when I'm done. Now the game board, holy crap. Or what is, is this? It's a bunch of numbers on here. Bloodlines, sight and movement. Blocks line of sight unless victim is adjacent. Wow, somebody really. Oh, that's cool. Look at so this is the back. So this isn't the board though. Oh, all right, you have to pull these pieces out. So let's see what this is. Hold on. 
because it does have the contents and says what each thing is. So, so it's a secret movement board. Use it with a dry erase marker. After the victim set up the the, Mike, the Michael Myers player, should secretly choose any outdoor space from one that is not in, inside a house or car and write the space indicator letter and number of combination on the zero line of the movement board using the dry erase marker. This represents where Michael Myers begins the game. The other players may not look at the movement board. Okay. I guess. So it's sort of like a clue. Like, you know, like the, the game clue. All right. So that's that. That's what that is. The secret movement board. Let me move that over here. So let's go through and read as we see what else is in here. What is this? Oh, okay, so this all has to be, so, yeah, all the pieces and everything have to come out, so here, so that's, so, some great artwork, though, I'll tell you that, that's some really cool stuff, look at that with the Myers house there, so that's that, and they just come right apart, I'm not even pushing on them, they're just popping right out, so, and uh, another car, oh, that's cool, it's the bedroom, and the, and the, and the Wallace, uh, up, that's the idea, bedroom in the Wallace house, then these are all, here's the figures. Let me pop them all out and show them. Well, some of them, I should say. Let's see. So here's all those hearts they were showing. And I guess these are magnifying glasses and steps. I guess probably where he walks. So I'll pop all them out after the fact because this is going to take too long. I just wanted to show the, the figure setups are cool. Let's, let me get the rest of them popped out and I'll show them. I don't even know what that is. I'll have to look in that and see what that is. And then, oh, two more figures to pop out. Another game card. And this, oh, look at this game card. Obviously, they all have this on the back. But here you go. You got Bob's van. <laughs> and it's got the door closed. For those that will go back and watch my goofs and gaps in Halloween, because you see when he, Bob takes Linda out of the van. He never shuts the door, but it's magically closed later. So maybe Michael closed it. Probably said, jackass, you left your freaking door open. All right, so he, there's there's probably, hold on. I'll show the figures in a second because there's probably stands that they, they get attached to them. And, um, oh, here's, I almost forgot to pull out Myers. Oh, look at this. There's more hearts and magnifying glasses. I got to figure out what all that means. Here's another game board, which I'm assuming this is, Oh, here. So it's basically the same, and it's got Myers here, which is very cool. There's going to be a lot to learn about this game. <laughs> it really, really is. Holy crap. All right, so this must be the game board. Okay, let's. I'll show the figures in a second. Yeah, here's their stands. I'll put them all, in, all the stands on, and we'll show that. All right, the game board. Let's see how big it, if I can get it in, in here. If not, I'm going to be posting pictures anyway. Let's see what's on the back side. All right, so it's facing this way. Wow, this is crazy, this game. All right, so it's basically... So there's four houses on here. I don't know if they're set up like any of the houses from the movie because it doesn't look like it. So this is the game board. So let me see if... Let me get... Oh, this is a bitch. So there's the game board. Like I said, I'm gonna be, I'll, I'll put better pictures up. And uh, there's nothing on the back of it. It's just black. So let's do that. We'll close that up because it's really big. So yeah, the the houses where he stalks, it doesn't appear that they match any of the houses from the original. I could be wrong, but it doesn't look like it. No. I'll have to read further. But and but it doesn't look like it. Alright, here, so here's the bottom pieces that the players attach to, the little plastic pieces so they can stand up straight. So let's put them on, and then um, I'll show you each of the figures. So here we go. We have... What's on the back? Michael. So here is Sheriff Lee Brackett. Here's the one and only, our beloved, Dr. Loomis. And on the back of him, it just has them in, in shadow. So 
I figure I should let you know that the, it's not the same image. It's just the, basically the, the back of them in shadow. It's Dr. Loomis. Um, is Annie Brackett. Very, very cool. Might just keep these set up, <laughs> but display them in the collection because I like them. They're cool. they're definitely cool. Uh, Bob Sims. Let's see. Next up, we have Linda Vanderklok. There she is, Laurie Strode. It looks like this is the only one that has the same image on the front and back. And of course, it is Michael. So you get to beat Michael Myers. So those are all the figures, all the, all the game pieces, I should say. Now, I have to figure out what these, there's, there's a lock on one side of them on this and it's obviously it's Bob's van. So I have to figure out what that, that's for. And here I don't it's I'm assuming this is supposed to be the station wagon, but it doesn't look like it. This is a police car. I don't know. Don't know. I'll have to read further. Okay, let's see what the game the game dice look like. What is this right here? Hang on. Oh it's one of the pieces of the magnifying glasses that must have popped off already. Now, what are these? Now you have these little plastic things in here. I have to figure out what the hell these are for. Maybe to keep stuff in. Like I said, there's a lot more to this than I thought. Holy crap, I'm gonna have to really be studying this before we decide to play it on um, Halloween night. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. And let's see what the, let's see what the dice look like. And there is a total of one, two, three, four, five dice. And they, are, are they all the same? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like they're all the same. And they all have a, a knife, a Myers knife. Looks like they're all the same. Let me just make sure. Yep. They're all the same. They all just have Myers knife on them. Okay, here's that dry erase marker, so it does come with it. For you, when you when you have to mark that, uh, what do they call it? The secret movement board. So here's your dry erase marker, and here's your cards. Let's just open up and just look through a few cards and see what they say. Oh, that didn't work out well. Didn't go all the way around. Come on. Yeah, man. Pack these things so tight. It was a bitch just getting the, the wrapping off the game. Let's say pack it so tight. All right, put that over there. So let's see. So you have, okay, so you have a bunch of cards, a lot of cards. Let me see. That have the magnifying glass on them. And we'll figure out what those are for in a second. So yeah, so all, all of these cards have the magnifying glass on them. Okay. And we'll look at some in a moment. Then you have a bunch of them that have Michael on them. And we'll figure out what those are in a moment. And then you have individual cards for each person. So there's Dr. Loomis. On the back, Dr. Samuel Loomis. Loomis starts with the gun item card and rolls an additional die when attacking. So let's see what that means. We'll figure it out. You have Sheriff, Sheriff Brackett. And back of his card says, Sheriff Brackett starts with the gun item card when an adjacent character is attacked. You may take up to two damage from the attack. Okay. Yeah, I'll be reading this all afternoon trying to figure out how to play play this game is Laurie Strode and the back of her card says when attacked or rolling dice 
Lori may re-roll one or more dice, but must take an ex an extra token for each one re-rolled. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. All right. There's Linda Vanderclock. Once per turn, when when searching, Linda may take an excerpt token to draw an additional card. Keep one and place the other on the top or bottom of the deck. Damn. All right. It says Bob Simmons, but I guess the people at Todd's didn't realize his name is Bob Sims. So, all right. We, so we found one error already. Yeah, it's Bob Sims. It's not Bob Simmons. All right, so when attacking, Bob may take an excerpt token to roll an additional die. Okay. There's Annie Brackett. Annie can carry two additional cards. In a parenthesis, it says card limit of six. She can also take one additional excerpt token before having to rest. Okay. Well, there's another... What are these? All right, so there's another Loomis card. A little different. And on the back, it is starting item for Dr. Loomis. Okay, so this is the gun. On the back, it's... So we have to figure out how that works, where I guess you start... You have to get the gun card to get the gun, maybe. And uh, the other one is Sheriff Brackett. On the back, it's... Uh, yeah, it's a gun card. Starting item for Sheriff Brackett. So I guess same thing for him to get his gun. And ready and staggered. So after taking any action to flip this card. Okay. So st on one side it says ready. When staggered, flip this card over. So you can stalk, move up to five spaces, infiltrate, pursue, or attack. And on staggered, it says stalk, infiltrate, pursue, attack. But it's just different things you can do. Move up to three spaces, move through a window or over a hedge. Attack, place your character figure on the board. Roll two dice, giving that player a heart for each rolled knife. Wow, this is... This reads like stereo instructions. <laughs> this is going to be a lot here to learn. Holy shit. I didn't think it was going to be this damn complicated. Holy crap. But that is the board game. Let me see. The, oh, well, let's see what these other cards are. Because we went through those. All right, so these are the ones with Michael on the back. So let's see what these are. Okay, it looks like they're all the same. Let me see. Oh, no, so it's a different one. I guess at some point you could pick these cards up and then you have to do what the action is in the back. So, like, for example, this one says, as a free action, reroll a die or heal one damage. I guess you can heal yourself from anything that you get hurt with. This is the same. Then you have another one that says, um, oh, this is the same. Heal one damage. Heal one damage. Okay, as a free action, look at the top three cards of the search deck for the for the quadrant you are in. Put them back on top in any order or heal one damage. Wow, this is definitely complicated. Um, as a free action, until the start of your next turn, you can be staggered or heal one damage. <clears throat> hmm. And they all have Michael in the back. They're all they all look the same, but they just have, they have like the different uh, actions that you have to do. And now the search cards. I'm assuming they're search because they got the little um, magnifying glass. They have different cards. Well, Tommy, Lindsay, blue car keys, yellow car keys. Um, they have, oh match. So yeah, so the cool stuff like here is Tom is Tommy. Let's see. There's Lindsay. And like I said, these all have different things. I have to figure out how it all works. Blue car key, yellow car key. Oh, rabbit and red matches. Very cool. A lot of cool artwork. There's a lot of those. And there's more. There's guns. Let's see if there's anything different. Makeshift weapon. It's a frying pan. Interesting. Item weapon. Kitchen knife, of course. What else do they have here? I am oh here. Oh, you can actually pick up ammunition. Gonna need that. Shot him six times. Yep. 
Makeshift weapon. Oh, look at that. Makeshift weapon knitting needles, right? Once you stab them in the neck with the, uh, the knitting needle. That's cool. All right, this was never in the film, but I guess they threw it in. There's a baseball bat. Hairspray can. Okay, interesting. A, <laughs> a shovel. Okay. I wonder if they have a rake in here because there was a rake in the movie because Michael somehow magically came downstairs when Laurie was searching the house and, and the French blocked the French doors with a rake. Bed sheets. A phone book. Bandages. A couple of bandages, I guess, to help yourself out. Oh, there you go. Coat hanger, just like Laurie used in the closet scene. Uh, this, what? Skateboard? Okay. Interesting. Oh, look at this. This, uh, this. Uh, sorry, there's an error here that doesn't. I think this belongs in, ha <laughs> in the Halloween Kills. An iron, right? From the Iron Lady, <laughs> from Halloween Kills. Uh, coffee. Oh, and of course you got to have a phone. The OG phone. Um, board game. So I got to figure out how that plays in. There's all little things at the bottom here. We're going to figure it out. Whiskey bottle. Okay, I'm in for that. First aid kit. Walkie-talkie. A doll. Which is actually really creepy looking. It actually looks like, um, almost looks like Tiffany from, from Chucky. Was action, ooh, action figures. Okay. Vinyl records. Hmm, interesting. And last but not least, a blanket. I guess like what she was knitting, a blanket. So yeah, so those are all those cards. And there's so much here I'm going to have to learn how to do. So I guess that's going to be my afternoon <laughs> spent trying to figure out how to play this damn game. Because there's a lot of shit here. Holy crap. So this, just the game board set up alone. One game board, two locked car tokens. Okay, so those are those two cars. Uh, 20 search tokens which are all those different colored uh, magnifying glasses, and 18 damage tokens, which were all the broken hearts. Well, the cracked hearts, I should say. Uh, 12 excerpt to tokens, which are... What do they look like? Hold on. One second. Let me grab some of them. I saw them. I didn't make out what they were. They are... Looks like quest, almost, uh, looks like an exclamation point. I think maybe you guys can figure out. They're the yellow ones right there. Yeah. Interesting. And um, 30, uh, five attack dice, which we saw with the knife on them. 32 item cards, which are all the ones with the um, magnifying glass on it. And four key item cards, which are the ones I showed you with the different things you can get. And the victims, now there's a, so that's the game board setup. Now there's a victim setup, three with the, with the victim mats, and then there's six victim cards, which are the ones that we showed you before with um, Annie, Lori, Bob, Linda, Brackett, and uh, Loomis, and Michael Myers. So there's a separate one for Michael Myers setup. So you, you have the one Michael Myers mat, which is that game board piece. The mat, I should say, and you get the Myers figure, and you get those Myers cards, I guess, because those are the ones, that, those are the action cards. It says what he does. All right, so it's just starting to make a little bit more sense. But I got a lot to read, and it's uh, so there's uh, several pages of uh things here. All right, so Michael Myers wins if the Michael Myers player immediately wins if victim dies. Two thirds player game, four victims die. Four-player game, three victims die, or Michael Myers survives. Two-third player game, Michael Myers' position was just noted on the 24th line of the movement board. Four-player game, Michael Myers' position was just noted on the 18th line of the movement board. Wow. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. <laughs> Guess what I'll be doing for the next couple of days before before Halloween night, because I'm, I'm going to attempt to see if we can play this live. Uh, it's going to be tough. To say the least. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, this, that's the, that is the Halloween board game from Trick or Treat Studios. And uh, go, they, I, I know this was a pre-order, so I'm sure they're available now up on their website. They retail for $59.95. That's not bad. I mean, for what you're getting here, 
It's not like you're just getting, you know, like a Nuno game here. We're getting some cards. There's a lot of shit in here. So for $15.95, okay, not bad. And everything's made well. It's a very heavy set. Um, and the direction stickers, i got to figure out those, too. It's going to be interesting. A lot to figure out here. But, yeah, for $15.95, go get it. It looks cool as hell. Um, like I said, tune in Tuesday night. Hopefully by then I'll figure out how to play this. And hopefully we can figure out a way for myself and my co-hosts to play because there'll be four people. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, even if we don't play it, because for whatever reason, we're still going to be showing like a bunch of old uh, collectibles, Halloween collectibles from our collections. We're going to be doing, um, I'm going to go down my whole list. For the, if you haven't seen, go check out my uh, 67 Mistakes in Halloween, where all the different goofs and gaffes and continuity errors along the film, I'll be going through them as they appear on screen. And we just have a lot of fun. It's Halloween night. Hang out. Have some candy. Have a couple of drinks. It's going to be pretty fun. So that is unboxing slash review of the Halloween hidden movement game from Trick or Treat Studios. So, my favorite, comment down below. Did you get it? If you've got this game already, comment below. Let me know if you've played it already. Maybe if you've figured it out, you can help me. Okay? So, uh, comment below. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Helps people find the channel. Uh, there's a lot of crazy shit going on here, especially between now and th uh, between Thanksgiving. Halloween. So there'll be a lot more stuff coming up. Make sure you tune in on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. for that horror movie podcast. Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hit that subscribe button. Don't cost nothing. Help a brother out. And make sure there's a link in the description here. I'm running my 1031 subscribers giveaway. The big giveaway at 9. And I'm giving away a not-so-exclusive Dr. Chalice figure. It's not so exclusive anymore because it was supposed to be exclusive only to age 45, but now... NECA's decided to release it anyway. But, hey, what you have to do is subscribe, follow, follow the, the details in the link, video that I have, and you can win it for free. Save yourself 75 bucks, right? Free figure, can't complain. So make sure you do that, and subscribe, like, check out all the other Halloween content on here, all that other happy horse shit, and uh, until that horror movie podcast or Halloween night, depending on when you tune in. I'll talk to you soon.